Indian Parliament consists of President, Rajya Sabha, and Lok Sabha. The President of India is an integral part of both Union Executive as well as Union Legislature. Rajya Sabha, also known as the House of Elders, the Upper House of Indian Parliament, or the Council of States. Lok Sabha is also known as the House of People, the Lower House of Indian Parliament, or the Popular Chamber of Indian Parliament. Indian Parliament, it is argued, has two broad powers. One, ordinary lawmaking power and the constituent power. Ordinary lawmaking power. We have distribution of powers under Schedule 7 of the Constitution. Union list, state list, concurrent list. Indian Parliament is the supreme lawmaking body of this country. It has the power to make a law on any item mentioned in the union list, any item mentioned in the concurrent list. It also has its constituent power, which means Indian Parliament is also authorized to amend the Constitution. In order to make changes to the Constitution, there is no need for a new Constituent Assembly. The Indian Parliament will use its constituent power to amend the Constitution under Article 368 of the Constitution. But of course, subject to the doctrine of basic structure. Indian Parliament can make any changes to the Constitution without altering the basic structure. Rajya Sabha, the House of Elders, Council of States, the maximum strength of Rajya Sabha is 250. 238 are to be elected. 12 members are nominated by the President on the advice of the Prime Minister and his Cabinet. Nominated from the fields of Art, Literature, Science, Social Service. This is a unique feature of Rajya Sabha. And this feature ensures that there are technocrats, there are experts who also become part of the parliament, who also are part of law-making business without any need to contest the election and win the election. It is mandatory on part of the president to nominate these 12 MPs to Rajya Sabha. 238 members who are to be elected to Rajya Sabha by legislative assemblies. Since we have only 28 states, and three union territories where we have legislative assembly. That is why this number has reduced to 233. 233 are now elected, 12 members are nominated, which means the current strength of Rajya Sabha is 245. Maximum 250, the current strength is 245. 225 elected by the state legislative assemblies, and eight members elected by the legislative assemblies in union territories. Now let's try and understand how are the members to Rajya Sabha elected. For that, let's take the example of this state. Let's assume for a while that there are three vacancies from this state in Rajya Sabha. That means three vacancies needs to be filled Let's assume for a while that this particular legislative assembly has 300 MLAs. The formula is total members in legislative assembly divided by the number of vacancies plus one plus one. Any candidate who meets this requirement would be elected to the Rajya Sabha. Let's take the example. 300 is the strength of the legislative assembly divided by three, the vacancies, plus one, plus one, which means the total number is 76. In order for a candidate to win this Rajya Sabha election and get elected to Rajya Sabha, the candidate would require 76 votes. That means any candidate who is contesting this election, if he or she achieves this figure of 76, he or she 
would be elected to Rajya Sabha. That is what we call that in Rajya Sabha, we follow a system of proportional representation system, which means out of 300 MLAs, if party A has 160 MLAs, party B has 80 MLAs, it means that at least two members to Rajya Sabha will be from party A, at least one member from party B will be there in Rajya Sabha. And we follow the system of proportional representation system along with open ballot. That means when in this legislative assembly, MLAs would come and vote to elect MPs to Rajya Sabha, they will also show and display their preferences. So voting takes place through open ballot. In presidential election, the voting is through secret ballot. Important facts regarding Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha is the permanent house of Indian parliament. It is not subject to dissolution. To ensure the permanent nature of Indian parliament, one third of the members retire every two years. There is no reservation for SCs and STs in Rajya Sabha. There is reservation for SCs and STs in Lok Sabha, in legislative assemblies, but there is no reservation for SCs and STs in Rajya Sabha. The voting takes place through open ballot. You should be a registered voter in any parliamentary constituency of this country in order to contest Rajya Sabha elections. Which means you may be a registered voter in Delhi, but even then you can contest Rajya Sabha elections from Karnataka or Chhattisgarh. Three special powers of Rajya Sabha. Number one, Article 67, Clause B. In order to remove the vice president from his office, what do we need? We need a resolution be passed in Rajya Sabha by effective majority. This resolution should be approved by Lok Sabha by simple majority. But a resolution calling for the removal of the vice president of India can be initiated only in Rajya Sabha. This is one special exclusive power of Rajya Sabha. Number two, Article 249 of the Constitution. Can Indian Parliament make a law on any item mentioned in the state list? Yes, but only if Rajya Sabha passes a resolution by special majority. If Rajya Sabha passes a resolution by two thirds of the members present and voting, then it becomes expedient on part of the parliament to make a law on any item mentioned in the state list in national interest. This is special power number two, exclusive power vested with Rajya Sabha. And power number three, Article 312 of the Constitution. Can we create another All India Service? We have three All India Services, IAS, IPS, Indian Forest Service. Can we create another All India Service? Yes. But who can create a new All India Service? Only the Parliament. But Parliament cannot initiate this action unless and until Rajya Sabha passes a resolution under Article 312 of the Constitution. If Rajya Sabha passes a resolution by two thirds of the members present and voting, only then Parliament can create a new All India Service. And this was the procedure used in 1966 when a third All India Service was created, when Indian Forest Service was created in 1966. Lok Sabha, the popular chamber of Indian Parliament, the lower house of Indian Parliament. What is the composition of Lok Sabha? Prior to 2020, the maximum strength of Lok Sabha was 552. 530 elected by the states, 20 elected from the union territories, and two members nominated by the president from the Anglo-Indian community. The constitution said 
if the president is satisfied that the anglo indian community is not sufficiently represented in lok sabha then what the president could have done he could have nominated two members from anglo indian community to lok sabha but the year was 2020 the constitution was amended 104th constitutional amendment act the reservation for anglo indian community was done away with so now there is no reservation for anglo indian community in lok sabha that leaves us with 550 members 530 elected by the states 20 elected from the union territories the constitution empowers the parliament to regulate the representation from the states as well as union territories now there are 524 mps from states and there are 19 mps from union territories so total we have 543 mps so the existing strength of lok sabha is 543 the maximum strength is 550 Prior to 2020 the maximum strength was 552 But how are these members elected to Lok Sabha For that we need to understand first past the post system The country is divided into territorial boundaries what we call constituencies The entire country is divided into 543 constituencies and we can have one member representing one constituency let's take the example of this constituency imagine that there are 1 lakh voters 1 lakh voters eligible to vote to elect an mp to lok sabha imagine there are 10 candidates contesting this election who do you think is going to represent this constituency in lok sabha somebody who gets the majority of votes or somebody who gets the highest number of votes majority is somebody who gets more than 50% of the total votes polled and maximum is anybody who gets the highest number of votes this constituency 1 lakh voters 10 candidates are contesting this election so that one of them can become the representative of this constituency the candidate who gets the highest number of votes will be elected as the representative from this constituency to lok sabha imagine candidate 1 he got 20000 votes candidate b got 19000 votes candidate c 17000 votes so on and so forth who is going to be the representative from this constituency candidate 1 because he got the highest number of votes but 20000 is not the majority majority is 50001 but in first past the post system a candidate is elected not on the basis of the majority but on the basis of the fact that this candidate got the highest number of votes this is how 543 mps are elected to lok sabha special powers of lok sabha no confidence motion confidence motion censure motion adjournment motion can be introduced only in lok sabha cannot be introduced in rajya sabha why we follow a parliamentary form of democracy and in parliamentary form of democracy prime minister and the council of ministers are responsible to lok sabha lower house of indian parliament confidence motion no confidence motion these are used to check whether the government has the majority on the floor of the lok sabha or not since these are the tools of ensuring the accountability of the government to the lok sabha that is why these motions can be introduced only in lok sabha and not in rajya sabha at the same time financial bills money bills can be introduced only in lok sabha specifically money bill 
One area in which Lok Sabha has superiority over Rajya Sabha is in the passage of Money Bill. Money Bill, which comes under Article 110 of the Constitution. Any bill which deals with money matters is a money bill. This bill can be introduced only in Lok Sabha, that too with the prior consent of the President of India. If this bill is passed in the Lok Sabha, then this money bill travels to Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha cannot reject a money bill. Rajya Sabha cannot amend a money bill. Rajya Sabha can only make recommendations to a money bill. But if these recommendations are not acceptable to Lok Sabha, even then this money bill will be passed. And if Rajya Sabha decides not to act on this money bill for 14 days, at the expiry of this 14-day period, it is deemed that money bill has been passed by both houses of the Indian Parliament. Which means Rajya Sabha has a very inferior role when it comes to a money bill. The superiority of Lok Sabha over Rajya Sabha can be best understood by looking at the passage of a money bill. Lok Sabha is presided over by the Speaker. The Speaker is elected by the members of Lok Sabha. In absence of the Speaker, the Lok Sabha is presided over by the Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha. And just like Speaker, Deputy Speaker is also elected by the members of the Lok Sabha. But if the Speaker is absent, Deputy Speaker is absent, who will preside over this session of Lok Sabha? In this case, a panel of 10 chairpersons. A panel of 10 chairpersons nominated by the Speaker. One of them will preside over the session of Lok Sabha if the Speaker is not present, if the Deputy Speaker is not present. Rajya Sabha. Who presides over Rajya Sabha? The chairperson of Rajya Sabha. And Vice President of India is the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Vice President of India is not the member of Rajya Sabha. He is the ex officio chairperson of Rajya Sabha. By virtue of the fact that this person is the Vice President of India, he presides over the sessions of Rajya Sabha. In absence of the chairperson, who presides over Rajya Sabha? The deputy chairperson of Rajya Sabha. And deputy chairperson of Rajya Sabha is also elected by the members of the Rajya Sabha. If chairperson is absent, deputy chairperson is absent, who presides over the session of Rajya Sabha? A panel of six vice chairmen, under the rules of procedure and the conduct of business in Rajya Sabha, the chairman of Rajya Sabha nominates six members on the panel of vice chairman, one of whom presides over the house in the absence of both the chairman and the deputy chairman. 